in today's video i will show you how to add the how to add the notes automatically once i change the status so let's i am creating the let's creating this student 1002 so same time without doing anything if i refresh so note will add it here and if i move to next stage if i move to next stage there also the note kit added and so i click the save so if i refresh it so parent details capture is coming and if i move to next stage refresh it we will see the one more notes overview so these notes automatically get added whenever we change these status in the student presence process flow i added a timeline so the timeline if you see here the student table and and parent details table has the same timeline view this part i discussed in the previous video to add a notes automatically whenever we move from one stage to another stage we can add the notes so that part we'll discuss today let's begin this is the business process flow we have so every business process flow will have a respective table so student business process flow this business process flow will have a table in this table we will be storing every action we do in on business process flow so it will store the information of what is the current active stage and when it is active and when it is moved to next stage all the information will be stored and every stage will have a unique a gyd so student details capture will have one gyd and same thing for others also so if you see the, this is the business process flow we have to here if you see here in the table list uh, we have a four tables St student business process flow table is also there if this table is not visible to you what you need to do is you just click on the business process flow in the three dots so in the advanced section you will find the add required objects so if you click the add required object so this table will get added so i am just opening the table and this click on edit so this will show you the one record actually so i have one single record in the student table single record in the student table that's why we have a single entry here if you observe so we have a many columns here we require a traverse path so this is the traverse path if you click this one or uh, just i am selecting and taking the copy of it and in the notepad i will paste it so it will contain a uh, means we have a three stages right so it will have a three guids so if you observe here so it is comma separated guids so one two and three so these are the three stages we have and respective guid so after we get the info of gyd we we need to create a in cloud flows add a new cloud flow so, i am taking automated cloud flow here i am taking the microsoft database so here trigger point will be whenever um, row added or modified we need to trigger this one 
the table will be the student business process flow the scope you can give organization level in the next stage here in the first stage we selected the added or modified so i will use the switch case here in the switch case on value just click this one in the dynamic content you search for active stays so active stays you select the value so on this so in in the first case you add the first guid and add one more case and paste the second guid the third you add the third guid so after this in the first case select the microsoft database click on add new row here select the notification sorry <coughs> notes I'm giving the title as a student details capture and in the second case I'm giving the parent details captured and in the third i'm giving just to overview okay so we added a notes so that notes need to be associated to associated to the student record so we can get the student record from business process flow if you see uh, we, need, we need to search the student table here regarding students is there in this one we need to provide the logical link and GUID. So, table logical name can be find in in this one. Like you, you just open the student table and click on the properties. So, in the advanced options, you will find the logical name. So, this logical name we need to copy and paste it here and we need to add s so as it will store the plural name and here we need to provide a guid So same thing I am copying and pasting to some other, other cases also.
okay so now i am just giving the proper name I'm giving the name as stages on chain notes. So I'm saving it. Let's refresh the app and we'll see the changes. So if you observe here, we have a one record. So I will create a new record now. So I will provide some name. So I'm giving some random values. So I'm clicking on the save. Whenever the I save, no, the we can refresh this one and see the is there any notes or not? Yeah, notes got added. Student details capture here. Got capture. It got capture the notes student details capture is the note it get added and we will move to next stage now i am just clicking on the stage and making this one s and saving it and clicking on the next stage so it is asking to create a record just click the click this one just i am giving the random values saving it i will refresh it now so if you see the parent details capture is got added i will move to next stage now so overview also got added hope this help you thank you guys